welcome back to another of my beer reviews. Um, today I've got something a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to review two beers, uh, which are similar, I, I guess, in flavour. Um, these are real blasts from the past. Um, Sweetheart Stout and Mackeson's Stout. They are both uh, what's called milk stouts, um, which contain lactose. Uh, lactose um, form of sugar comes from milk. So they're both sweet and they are both uh, low in alcohol, as in uh, they're both 2% in alcohol each. Um, <clears throat> I think originally they may have been a bit higher, but they were maybe 3%, 25 but they've been lowered um, <clears throat> for uh, re duty reasons, just to, to, to keep the Duty, duty price low, I guess. Um, and that because they're low in alcohol, they were, um, I guess, favoured by older women, um, you know, the sort of, in the, nine, I guess, 1950s and 60s, um, maybe 70s to 80s even, um, uh, you might see women in clubs, bingo, that kind of thing, drinking uh, this sort of thing. I'm not saying it was just women, but um, I think that maybe the, the lower alcohol and a sweeter taste to it may have appealed to them. Um, they've also in the past been marketed as, as, as health giving, um, I guess because they have quite high calorie sugar content. It could help you build up strength if you are feeling a little weak, you know. A um, bit more trivia. This is, uh, this is really considered a, a, a Scottish style. I don't even know if you can buy it south of the border. Um, it says Younger of Aloha, but I believe it's actually Tenants Brewery who make manufacture this now. Brew it. Um, the lady on the front is Venetia Stevenson. She was or is because she's still alive. Um, uh, English-born um, actress moved to the states. Uh, I guess originally a, a, a beauty model, but then she she got into films. And I was just reading what films she was in. Um, you're kind of, uh, you know, your 1950s and 60s, um, I guess, kind of horror films. Uh, films you may know are from films such as Horror Hotel, Island of Lost Women, Day of the Outlaw, The Sergeant Was a Lady, The Big Night. Um, <clears throat> you know, these kind of films. And uh, as I say, she's still alive. Uh, the other interesting thing about is she about her is she um, she was married a few times, but she was married for um, some time to Don Everly of the Ever Everly Brothers, and her daughter was married to Axel Rose of Guns N' Roses, and actually her daughter inspired the song uh, "Sweet Child of Mine," apparently. So that's a bit of rock trivia hidden away in this. Uh, in this can. Uh, Magazines, a, <clears throat> a very different label, nice classic looking label, don't know so much about it, but uh, uh, very kind of um, manly looking lighthouse on it, uh, even if it was drunk more by women. Uh, it's very sort of male, macho looking can. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it was originally brewed in Kent um, in Hythe, one of the oldest breweries in, 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 in Britain apparently, uh, but at some point it moved up, I think late 60s they stopped brewing it there and <clears throat> it's brewed elsewhere now. Uh, I'm not sure, I think it said Luton on it, so uh, I guess that's where it's brewed now. And uh, yeah, I always thought it was a northern drink, but I guess not, not fit originally from Ken. And um, anyway, that's enough trivia. And uh, <clears throat> hastily gleaned knowledge from Wikipedia. Let's uh, open them up. <clears throat> I've chilled these slightly. I'm, I'm not sure. I, I think some people would probably drink these more at room temperature, but I have chilled them a little bit. So it's pouring out. Very dark. Um, uh, kind of quite a brown head to it, so um, you know, looks a little like Guinness, but actually not quite the same colour. And I would say possibly more opaque than 
and Guinness if that's possible. Um, smell, but it's, it has got a sort of brown sugar kind of smell to it. Um, molasses or brown sugar. And um, let's just leave that to settle a bit and I'll open the sweetheart stout. Now I have not tried this for many years. I'm pretty sure I did try it back in the day. Um, and I pr I'm pretty sure my dad used to occasionally drink it, although I don't think it was a favourite beer of his. Um, it is pouring to a similar kind of colour. More of a head, I guess, even... <clears throat> well, yeah, you can't really tell them apart in terms of uh, colour and the head and so on. The head may be a little bit creamier on this one, but no, it's hard to tell. Actually, different aroma. Not you don't get the same. It's not quite as uh, the same sort of rich brown sugar smell in this one. <clears throat> Still sweet, but um, actually almost like a shandy smell to it. Yeah, this one definitely more kind of molasses sort of smell to it. The Mackesons. So let's try the sweetheart stout first. <clears throat> Obviously it's very sweet. Um, it's uh, it's like a sort of, <laughs> I mean, I think it's, it smelled a bit of a, of a shandy and you kind of get that on it as well. And I, I think it, it also because it's probably about the same alcoholic strength as a shandy, that's what it reminds you of. It does, it does kind of taste like beer mixed with something else, something sweet. Um, it's not a pleasant, um, too sweet for my taste really, but um, you know, it's a milk stout, so that's what you expect. And um, I can see, I can understand why it would appeal to perhaps all the people who don't want to drink something too strong and um, something that gives them a little <clears throat> a little boost, a little energy. Um, yeah, it's, it's fine. I probably wouldn't drink a lot of it, but um, you know, one can is okay. Now, yeah, definitely a more interesting aroma to this one. Let's let's see if the taste. Well, yeah, it's it's got a richer taste. It's definitely got more kind of coffee notes in it, and and the brown sugar that you're getting on the nose, um, fuller fuller flavour, I think. Not quite as sweet. Um, maybe even a bit of tobacco in there. It's it to me. This is more like um, a porter, sort of weak porter, and um, I think I prefer it to be honest. <clears throat> Let's go back to the sweetheart. Uh, yeah, Sweetheart is, is basically all about the sweetness up front. Magnuson's has something a bit more to it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, if you want something that's all out sweetness, go for the Sweetheart Stout. If you want something a little bit more balanced, in my opinion, uh, I would go for the Magnuson's. And, um, well, they're both probably side by side in the supermarket, like I found them, at least there in Scotland. I don't know if you get Sweetheart Stout in England. So, you know, they're cheap. Why not try them both, like I did? And, uh, <coughs> yeah, that's it, really. Um, I guess the other thing to mention about the brands is, I think they're what's known as a, a ghost brand, in that, uh, you know, they're, they're still sold, but they're not... Um, they're not promoted or marketed in any way these days. You're not going to see adverts anywhere for these. Um, 
So how much longer they're going to last? I guess it depends on the demand. Um, I can't really see many younger people taking to these. Could be wrong. So they could well die out in the next 10 years. I think already they're beginning to um, cut down production. They, they're no longer making either of these in bottled form, which probably would have been um, more favoured in, 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 in pubs. And um, yeah, may not be around for much longer. So um, give them a go if you see them. Thanks. Uh, Thanks very much for watching and um, I will be back soon with another beer or cider review. Cheers.